Hi and welcome to Stock Market Near Real Time Analytics with uh, Microsoft Fabric. So in this video we will walk through the course structure and architecture we will be building step by step in this course. By the end of this course you will have practical knowledge to build near real time analytics with Microsoft Fabric. So let's dive right in. Let me expand the course structure. So the journey is split into four different modules. In module one introduction to near real-time stock analytics and data source api we will explore the concept of real-time analytics in fabric and uh, alpha vantage as our uh, data source api to ingest the stock data and in module 2 data engineering with microsoft fabric so we will be ingesting the stock data uh, with event stream and model the data in event house you will learn essential concepts like dimensional modeling uh, in this particular module and then extending the data via kql as well which is custom query language and in module 3 uh, we'll bring the data to life with interactive power bi dashboards to visualize the stock trends so you will learn essential uh, uh, metrics like how to calculate daily change for a stock and then the moving averages right within the uh, semantic model itself and in module 4 we will tie all these together and focus on automation and uh, real-time uh, data refreshers in semantic model and then we will wrap up the course so each module builds on the previous one so let's dive right in let us look at the architecture diagram this architecture diagram represents the stock market analytic system that we'll be building in this course so our data source layer will be ingesting the stock data the previous day closing prices from alpha vantage api so we will discuss more about it in module one uh, so we ingest the previous day closing prices not minute by minute data and why the previous day closing price ingestion is ideal because stock market analysts ideally make financial decisions based on the previous closing prices or the historical uh, data for any stock by looking at the previous closing prices now that gives us uh, consistent and accurate information about any stock that you look at so instead of looking at minute by minute data so our entry point would be the event stream uh, as our data ingestion layer so we'll be building the notebook and pipelines to uh, schedule a daily refresh or daily uh, stock data ingestion into our system and uh, the ingestion is completely handled by event stream uh, in fabric real-time intelligence experience uh, and then we will be looking at event house as our storage layer uh, so we essentially have our event house and then kql database to store the raw tables as well as the process tables in the kql database so kql scripts are uh, built to extend the data uh, using this custom query language scripts as well so our uh, data storage and processing layer would be event house for efficient and optimized querying so we'll look at it in detail during our module 2 uh, when we uh, build on this course and then we will be uh, looking at the dimensional modeling we'll be building fact tables and then dimension tables right within the event house uh, to build our semantic model on top of it so and we we have this one lake shortcut to bring in some of the uh, uh, reusable dimensions like let's say date dimension and then uh, stock dimension so date dimension you might have in some other lake house let's say uh, in my previous course i built uh, the date dimension for uh, covid uh, 19 data analytics so we can reuse that same date dimension uh, in this project as well simply by creating a shortcut to the uh, covid data lake uh, and then pull the uh, required dimensions and then uh, place it in your kql database that's exactly what i did to bring in the date dimension and then you can also uh, store your um, or build your uh, stock 
dimension in Lakehouse and then you can uh, uh, keep the reference point inside the KQL database using one lake shortcuts. So once that is done, we will be building our uh, semantic data model with fact and dimensions sitting on top of the KQL database. And then we will be uh, building our uh, Power BI dashboards and reports and then real time uh, dashboards as well for our uh, visualization and reporting capabilities in Fabric. So that's at a high level uh, how the how the components are utilized inside Fabric, especially the real time intelligence experience inside Fabric platform. Uh, so we have leveraged uh, the Alpha Vantage API as our data source to ingest the stock data in near real time. So it runs every morning to bring in the previous day closing prices to simulate the near real time experience. Um, and then we have our uh, entry point as event stream, so which keeps pushing the uh, stock data into our event house. And then the data would be stored as raw tables and the process tables will also be stored in the KQL database uh, using uh, KQL script, which we have used extensively to extend the data and do the required processing in KQL scripts. So if you are uh, new to custom query language, uh, I'll give you a bit of introduction during our uh, module one. Okay, so we'll also share the required resources for you to be familiar with. So similar to SQL, it is KQL, which is custom query language, which uh, helps in efficient and optimized query. You know, it is it is designed to query large uh, scale data sets. Okay, so the um, especially for uh, real time intelligence or real time analytics. Um, so we have leveraged all of the uh, real time intelligence capabilities in fabric uh, to simulate uh, the stock market uh, near real time analytics okay by the end of this course you will not only understand how these components work inside fabric uh, but how they fit together to build a, a robust near real time analytics solution and this course is highly hands on as I mentioned, so please remember, uh, we'll be extensively applying the concepts that we'll be learning in this course instead of just watching the demos. 